We are Karthik and Sim, your favorite Indian man life couple traveling from Canada to Patagonia. In the last video you saw us explore the state of Oaxaca, we now find ourselves moving further down south to the state of Chiapas. Chiapas is a perfect playground for adventure seekers and today we're going to show you three incredible waterfalls that will put Chiapas on your next destination. Welcome to our second last state in Mexico, Chiapas baby. We've been looking forward to this one for a very long time because it's been recommended the most by far by all the adventure travelers that we've met on the road. We have a bunch of recommendations here and there. In this video, we'll just try to wrap that all together so you guys have an idea when you come here. This is our first stop right before the town of Taxla and it's called Sierra de la Egua something something. We'll put the name in the bottom. <laughs> It's quite a drive like coming in five minutes last five minutes of the drive is very steep and very rough road so be mindful of that and it closes at 3 30 p.m. so you have to be here before that and to get to the waterfall you have to climb 800 steps Which no happened? to get to the waterfall you have to climb down down eight. you have to go down 800 but coming back up you're climbing 800 steps so let's go before it gets dark I can start to hear the first sounds of the waterfalls. That's always one of the most exciting parts when you know it's quite there yet, but it's not there yet. And there's still a little bit more ways to go, but the sound, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I love waterfalls. Remember, so you're gonna do this? You're gonna make it, buddy? Part of the canyon and now we have to walk up the stream in this river right here and reach the waterfall which is in the middle of this canyon. drive from San Cristobal where we were last but uh, it's taken us almost an entire day with the multiple random stops that we make. Can't really film much but uh, right now we're going through this whole jungle vibe. It's extremely green all around us and uh, we're racing the sun to get to the campsite. Almost sunset time I think we're gonna have a really nice sunset at the campsite. Cool part is that we're gonna get to camp right by the waterfalls and Hopefully you see it early in the morning tomorrow. Looking forward to this. Very excited. Yes, I'm very excited. Just trying to find the right campsite. Benavidas. What are you doing? Scratching my head. Cheers! Made it to our next waterfall. Chiffon. Chiflon. Something. We're parked. Right up there, nobody's around. It's just us, absolutely nobody else. Usually, camping this, here. This place is a mess on weekends, but weekdays, not a single human. Yeah, luckily, we're That's here the on the weekday, and 
We just had a first look at the major falls using the drone and it looks pretty insane. It's, it's like supposed to be as phenomenal as the uh, Zimbabwe Falls, the Victoria really Falls. Really yeah. wow. Definitely have not looked into previous photos of this or anything so I'm in for a total surprise and uh, we're gonna try to go check it out for sunrise tomorrow. speaking at all this morning but I think the views should explain everything we're doing right now it's pretty cold for waterfalls but it looks incredible way to start the day insane insane i can't stop saying how insane it is the sun is coming out thankfully but it's so powerful like the first time i went Kartik was here and i had to go solo like the power i i was almost shaking i was like <laughs> it like you can feel the power and it's like mother nature is so intimidating at times but then everest went ahead of me i'm like if everest can go i can go then i went up and I love waterfalls, they make me feel so alive and it's just like, I feel the most alive when I'm around the waterfalls. You yeah. have fun at the falls Everest? He's like, why is everybody getting dry but not me? He, he pushes his head under the towel, he's like, please mommy, me too. <laughs> we thought the main waterfall was back down there but there were two more waterfalls. We saw the one waterfall. Uh, the other two we saw with the drone now we can see them up close and they were 400 meter more hike vertical hike Everest Everest what come here show off what are you showing off for? char char tangye pani bilinja it's past 9 and we're still pretty much the only people on these waterfalls it opens at 9am it opens at 9. Epic! We were here at 7. So that's the best thing. You gotta stay here overnight and just go first thing in the morning. Legar a la cascada Queen. Quinceanera. Made it to the top of the world! Cascara Quinceanera. I don't know, I can't say this is the best view. Definitely the better view is down where there. we initially stopped down there. But I'm proud to make it to the top of this massive waterfall. Yeah, you can't leave a trail half unfinished. That's illegal. Our camp spot in Lake Montebello. It's very dark outside. 
<laughs> it was a pretty scary ride the last 20 minutes but somehow we've managed to find it and made it because of our friends from San Cristobal and Oaxaca City were already here so we just followed their pen and here we are and now we're gonna make some dinner Sim is cooking some Thai curry long pending overdue recipe that she had uh, promised to feed me and now it's happening right now after that I'm gonna get nice and cozy with that warm Thai curry and probably pass out because that's what we do best when we're at campsites, go to sleep early. Good morning. We slept next to a very beautiful campsite. Well, it's raining and I can't show you anything. Hopefully if the sun comes out, I can show you the beautiful lake we slept next to. Top of the morning at Lake Montevello National Park. <laughs> uh, we're having a blast of a time. We're about to go canoeing and kayaking. We'll probably a dip in the lake. Once it stops raining. Lake is right outside <laughs> the door. Oh man, this is this is like the worst weather we've experienced in a very long time. And um, I don't know how long this rain's gonna last, but I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. So we're probably not gonna stay here for longer, but we're giving it a shot for another hour to see if something miraculously clears up in the sky. Sun is coming. Sun is coming. Sun is coming. Nothing is happening here. Sun is coming. Get out of here. Listening to her mama in the beginning. He says something, which we both don't know what it is, but we both can sing. So we're gonna see who says it correctly. thinking about when you're sitting there? I was thinking that if I fall, it'll be so much fun to like ride this wave. <laughs> and how I'll survive. Only you would think that stupid shit. Yeah, I was like, I'll totally survive this if I fall. I'll just be riding the wave. hike 1500 meters loop should take about 20 minutes but it takes you to a viewpoint of the falls I think let's see how it looks should we go to my Everest to the top of the Mirador. I think we're looking at the opposite side of the view that we were 
looking at from down below earlier and it's so vast out here, it's pretty incredible. Welcome back to the van guys. Um, you must be wondering what the heck is going on in this place around me, but I promise you we'll explain that very soon. But I really hope you guys enjoyed exploring three of these unique waterfalls in Chiapas with us today. Chiapas is actually a state of hundreds of waterfalls. Let me tell you guys this, that the state of Chiapas is hugely underrated as of this moment. Not a lot of people are there. It's very local tourism based right now. I'm pretty sure this place on the verge of blowing up very soon. That is definitely a brown man life guarantee. No doubt about it. Also, make sure you comment down below which one of these threes is your favorite? Do not forget to subscribe. Your love and support fuels our journey. See you guys in the next one. Bye.